Hi, today I'm going to be making some marble mugs and I'm going to show you my process from beginning to end. So, first I need to get some clay. I'm using plain Man M370 and Plainsman coffee clay. So I just sliced off about an inch. I'm going, I like it to be flat, so I'm gonna take that first little bit off. Otherwise you're gonna end up with air bubbles in your clay. So about that thick. And then I just put it on in such a way I kind of roll it down onto the other piece. So least amount of air bubbles. And then another slice of the white. Now if you want more of the dark color, just do larger chunks of the dark color. And if you want more of the white, so vice versa. So I usually do two of each. because I don't want the colors to mix too much. So I basically just do a drop wedge technique <laughs> and that just gets all the different layers to stick together. And then I just drop it onto each corner to round it off. I actually am kind of throwing it down, not just dropping it. This is my exercise. I hate exercising, but I think with all the work that you do in pottery, you do your core, you do your arms, you do your legs. Why would you need to exercise? And then I'm just rounding it up, rounding up all the corners so I don't have to wedge it too much or cone it too much on the wheel. All right. I'm just going to measure out a bunch of balls of clay so you don't need to see all that. So now I've measured out all the clay and I have it in balls. So all I did to make a ball was just hit it. So like I said, I don't want to wedge it and mix up the clay too much. <laughs> I'm a terrible thrower. So if I don't get it center, I just stop the wheel and, and put it in the middle, slide it to the middle. As much as I don't like to do a lot of coning with the marble clay, when you're mixing two colors, you often have air bubbles. So you do have to do some, but I don't do more than I have to. But you do often deal with bubbles while you're throwing air pockets. bucket of white slop there <laughs> just about put the, the my chocolate color in so oh there I got a cup three or four bubbles right there just going in the middle and more so that's not fun but it's worth it for the marble texture so I am just Pressing the bottom. I think the best part of making these mugs is having the pattern revealed. The worst part is dealing with the air bubble.
didn't really have time to make a lot before Christmas because I had other orders that I had to do as well so I couldn't just make marble mugs so some people actually ordered mugs and just got a gift certificate for whoever they wanted to give them to which I thought that was neat bubble I just take a needle tool and go right through to the other side so I'm just gonna smooth that air bubble out there get all the water out from inside a needle tool and and take the top a little bit off because usually it's a little bit uneven not always but and then just take and make that a nice lip again alrighty take the excess clay off the bottom Here's the fun part. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it good. So when you get all the little the slip off, it reveals the fun pattern. I've said this so many times, but I love how each mug is different. And there's so many variables. I mean it partly has to do with just how you put your clay together. If you were to do smaller strips and put them together, you're going to have your colors closer together. If you wedge it, it's going to look different again. So that's it. I will come back and show you the trimming when I get to that point.